What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at this Rock Island AL22. Before we go any farther, it is cleared, nothing in the cylinder so that you guys aren't worried about that. This is a 22 long rifle revolver from Rock Island Armory, and uh, it is a lot of fun. I'm not typically a huge revolver guy. I've only got a couple of them, and I'm not great at shooting them. But I was very interested in this 22 long rifle because I think 22 is a really fun round, and especially right now in the whole ammo shortage, ammo expensive crisis, blah, blah, blah. Like 22 is one of the few rounds that is staying. It is jumping up way high in price, but compared to everything, it's staying affordable to shoot. This revolver does have this nice rubber grip. It's very comfortable in my hand. It doesn't feel cheap or lighter or anything. It's very solid, has a nice weight to it. It does have this orange in the front sight that makes it real easy to find. The rear sight is adjustable windage and elevation, which is nice. And it does hold nine rounds of 22, which is pretty cool. Uh, and as with most revolvers, if not all, you have this plunger to get your rounds out afterwards. You have the uh, cylinder release, I guess is what you would call that on a revolver, right there. You have the hammer, which does have a nice pull, and it's got a good texture. Uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty fun little gun. I haven't shot it very much. I've put a couple cylinders. Is that how you say that for a revolver? <laughs> I've put a couple cylinders worth of ammo through it so far. This particular model has a four inch barrel on it and it is single action, double action. So you can go hammer down or you can bring the hammer back. It'll fire from either. So uh, I don't think there's much else to say about it. It's a revolver. Let's get shooting. First shot, we're gonna have the hammer back. It makes the trigger pull lighter. It's uh, if I remember right, it's roughly like 11, give or take pounds uh, when the hammer's down. And when the hammer is back, it's like four to six pounds or somewhere in that ballpark. Don't quote me 100% on that, but roughly in there. This is how little I shoot revolvers. I don't even really fully know how to hold this thing. <laughs> this thing's fun. We're going for a little more slow, like, actually hit your target not on steel because steel makes you feel really good about yourself but when you actually have it on something like this you can see where you're missing uh, and you have a, a smaller target to hit and i'm not going to be good i'm just throwing that out there right now because i don't shoot revolvers pretty much ever so let's try it Ooh, just under just over. So I had a couple misses, but all in all, pretty accurate, especially for someone like me who is almost primarily striker fired. Holding this gun is very weird to me because I'm used to stacking my grip, but the trigger placement on this gun is in such a spot where you can't really do that. I don't know, revolvers are weird, but this is a really fun gun. And so now we're going for a little more fast with some transitions back and forth between these two targets. I'm probably seven yards and 10 yards. Ref ah, probably seven and 12 would be my guess. I don't actually know. Now we're just going for a good old fashioned cylinder dump, if that's what the kids are calling it these days. Runs good. Oh, and that's another thing I like about revolvers is as far as malfunction mitigation and malfunction clearing in general, so much easier than striker fired. Big fan of how simple revolvers are, especially to clean too, that makes it nice. What do you think? It's pretty sweet. Fun. Yeah. 
Huge fan. Way better than my J-frame <laughs> because it's actually fun to shoot because it's a big enough gun and where it's 22, there's no recoil. So it's just a really fun gun to play around with. My first impressions on this gun are very good. Uh, this is a very fun little gun to have. Everyone will have fun with it. Little kids, adults, male, female, whatever you want, they're gonna have fun shooting this gun because it's very low kick and uh, it's pretty accurate as, as far as like the little things that we've done today. I've actually been impressed because revolvers typically are difficult for me to shoot because I just don't do it very often. This was easy to shoot. This was a lot of fun to shoot. And I, I was actually the most impressed was with being able to put multiple rounds, round after round after round on target pretty quickly. Not as quick as I could a striker fired gun, but this was impressive. Huge thank you to Rock Island Armory and other companies like Rock Island that send us out stuff to test and play with and make videos for you guys with. Uh, without them and without people like you supporting us on Patreon and other platforms like that, we wouldn't uh, be able to do this because YouTube demonetizes us. We also have another channel, it's called Power Cult. If you guys like cars, go check that out. We're actually giving away a Cadillac CTSV with the fully built motor in it. Uh, that's going on on the Power Cult channel and Power Cult Instagram. Thanks for watching. Let us know what kind of videos you want to see in the comments, and we'll see you on the next one.